Good morning, good day and good evening everybody and a very happy 5th of December to you all. I'm Michael, this is Nordic Hobby Visions and welcome to day 5 of the Tamiya RC December calendar build. We've lit our candles and I've already carefully selected the parts from parts bag A that we're gonna need for step 6 and 7. All we need to do is cut a few more parts from the parts tree G, the gear parts tree. We're gonna need a bevel gear and we're gonna need some caps. Step number six is assembling the rest of the parts that go into the rear gearbox. As this is a kit that comes with full ball bearings, we're not gonna need any greasing of the different shaft for this particular build. You can also remember that if you're assembling another kit and you're using your own ball bearings. And we got the parts ready here, laid down. We got the spur gear and the idler gear and the propeller joint necessary for the bevel gear and the four wheel drive transmission. Number seven is greasing down the different gears and installing them in the rear gearbox and closing them down. We're gonna need the B6 from the B parts tree. Since yesterday I actually Remove the motor and move the pinion just one millimeter towards the motor itself. In my opinion it was very very flush up against the side of the gearbox and I'm not sure if that was supposed to be. It's according to instructions and the pinion tool that you are provided. But I went ahead and moved it just a tiny bit more towards the motor so I'm absolutely sure it won't be rubbing against the side wall of the gearbox. Now let's just install the different gears into the gearbox. Always manually check the gears if they are seated correctly and are turning correctly. So we are ready to grease down the sides of the gearbox to prevent any dirt getting inside. It provides a nice seal if you seal down these edges and we can close the gearbox. That completes steps 6 and 7 and we got the full rear gearbox assembled. On an important side note, yesterday I dismissed this anaerobic gel, the thread lock provided with this kit, as a very hard thread lock. And since then I have had a comment from Thibaut Akaoma who actually recommends this. So apparently 
even though it's red like the red Loctite, it's not as hard and I suppose you can remove, remove it, the screws again without heating it up. Today's greetings, Tamir greetings, goes of course to Omar Aka Tibo. You can find his channel here in the corner. I highly recommend his videos. Lots of great Tamiyas and lots of great RC history and a lot of other brands like Armor and Traxxas and so on. Check out his channel and I'll keep the candles burning and continue to step 8 which I will have ready for you tomorrow. Until then, take care.